Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a cupcake. The tutorial comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. So please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's up in the corner. It really helps me make more of these. Now let me tell you more about that cupcake. This cupcake tutorial includes an example of how to add little shiny highlight spots on your frosting. Sometimes it's the little touches like this that make an extra charming picture. First, you need to collect your art supplies, drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. To follow along with a printed set of directions, this tutorial can also be downloaded for free from my website. But before you begin your drawing, it really helps to make some guidelines on your paper. By folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll have guidelines that match my tutorial, which really help as you draw each step. Step number one, to draw a nice large oval for the top of the cupcake, start with drawing just the left side first. Finish the oval by drawing a matching shape on the right. Step number two, draw the two sides of the cupcake that angle in just a bit and then connect at the bottom with a curve. Step number three, to draw the frosting, start with a large half oval on the right side and then draw a matching half oval on the left side. Then erase the line inside so all these layers don't get too confusing. Step number four, to start the next layer, draw a slightly smaller half oval on the right. And then draw a matching half oval on the left. Again, erase the line inside so you can see the layers better. Step number five, to start the next layer, draw another slightly smaller half oval on the right. Again, add a matching half oval shape on the left and erase the lines inside again so you can see the layers. Step number six. Now you can add a dollop of frosting on the top with a bit of a tip to it. And again, erase the line inside so you can see all the layers you have created. Step number seven. I'm going to finish with a heart that looks like it's stuck in the frosting and then erase any extra lines inside. Now you can add a few sideways teardrop shapes that will be the shiny spots on the frosting. That's one touch that a lot of cartoon artists use, by the way. Step number eight. I'm gonna add a table line so it doesn't look like my cupcake is floating in the air. And to finish things off, my cupcake holder needs a little extra texture. I'm adding some upside down U shapes. Try to space them evenly all across the bottom. Step number nine. The drawing is done, so it's time to trace all those pencil lines with a black marker. When the tracing is done, take a moment to erase any extra pencil lines that you still see. And finally, it's time to color. My cupcake is going to have bright pink frosting. Remember, pressing hard with your crayon will definitely give you the brightest color. And the inside of my cupcake is going to be brown. But you can, of course, color yours however you want. I'd like to make my cupcake wrapper stand out. So I think a nice golden yellow will do that nicely. And my candy heart needs a little color too. Orange seems like a fun party color for the table. And I'm pressing hard to get the orangest orange I can. And as for the background, I really like how this yellow green fills it in. You could certainly add more party decorations, but I'm going to just color mine in solid. So there is my finished cupcake drawing. I picked three very bright colors to go with my frosting, which I think all add up to a very cheery picture. 
Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial and I really appreciate your wanting to learn more about drawing. I do have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a cake and how to draw an ice cream cone. I hope you have a chance to check them out.